7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is in Southfield working to keep you and your family safe. And Matt, we've seen accidents in the past. What are some of the things we should be paying attention to as customers? Well, Keenan, first and foremost, you want to make sure that any ride that's going to be moving actually has this, the information about safety and what you need to do. And let's be honest, we're not all reading these. You should be, especially if you're a parent. And I noted this over here. We've got the inspection sticker. In Michigan, they have to be inspected each and every year. And since most people riding these rides are children, you as parents need to be on the lookout for these. Safety is definitely a concern of uh, some parents. It's an extensive job, uh, that's for sure. So it's, we're double and triple checking um, each ride and set up. Brandon Bell has a big job. As co-chair of this year's Southfield Festival of Hope, he's watching this festival come together fast. One day ago, none of these rides were here, but by Thursday, you'll see something like this yeah. turn into this. We're, we're super excited for the event, um, a four-day event. Um, it's going to be fun, great weather, a good time. I'm in a safe environment for our uh, family and the children. But how do you keep it safe? Hope United Methodist has done this for nine years. Part of their success is safety checks on each ride an hour before and after they're open. These guys each have to pass a test to certify they can operate these. We've seen concerns at other fairs in the past, though. At this year's Kerwood Festival, for instance, a worker had a leg amputation after an accident. Just this past April, the state issued a cease and desist order for unsafe operations at Jeepers inside Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights. Now, Matt, what are some things you can do if you're a parent? So, Keenan, you definitely want to keep an eye out for those safety postings, also that inspection record. But one thing you can do above and beyond that, just double check restraints to make sure that they're working properly before you let a kid go on a ride. And if you see anything at a carnival, a festival, there is a number you can call from Laura. They're the people that oversee all of this. I just posted that as well as information over at WXYZ.com from Safer Parks.